All right, let's do another uh, example. What if we have 3.904 uh, times, let's say, 100 to the second power? How is this not in scientific notation? Let's just think about that. Well, the point, the decimal point, only has one digit to the left of it. Okay, so this coefficient is fine. How about over here? Ah, we need a base of 10, not a base of 100, okay? So let's try to get this back into scientific, proper scientific notation. Again, the way that I would recommend it, since this is not an enormous number to, to write out, let's just actually put it into standard notation, okay? So this would be 3.904 times, let's see, this is 100 squared. So that would be 100 times 100. All right, so 100 times 100, well, we're going to have four zeros. So that's a one and four zeros, or 10,000, okay? So that would be 10,000. So we're multiplying 3.904 times 10,000. Well, instead of actually having to write out and do all the multiplication, since this is a power or a magnitude of 10, all we need to do is move the decimal point to the right however many zeros we have, all right? So let me rewrite it here. All right, well, let's add some zeros just so we don't lose our place. We know we need to move four places to the right. So we'll start here. One, two, three, four. All right, so at the end of the day, and I'll erase all the zeros after the decimal point because it's not giving us any additional information. So what we can say is, that this number up here, which was sort of like a false scientific notation form, this number right here was really, in fact, representing the true standard form, the true evaluated standard number of 39,040, okay? So now let's try to get 39,040 into correct scientific notation. Okay, well, we know that we need to do this, 3.904, and then once it starts becoming zeros forever, we don't need it any. Um, we just write up until the last non-zero digit here, times 10 to the what, okay? Well, we need to bring this decimal point over how many times to get back to 39,000? 40. So it would be 1, 2, 3, and then 4 times. All right. So that means that the true scientific notation would be 3.904 times 10 to the 4th. Okay. Again, you could have figured it out right away by knowing that this is 100 as the base to the 2nd, um, and then you can convert it in your head to the 4th. But if, if you know which way to put the decimal points. However, as again, we're starting out, I feel like the best way to get from here to here without any making any mistakes for the first few times as you're learning it is to go through uh, this process of putting it back into standard form.